2016 ILX with 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. From Acura. ESPN Today is brought to you by the new 2016 Acura ILX. Catch it if you can. Mark, let me ask you something. After hearing all of this, after hearing uh, the surgical procedure that Kevin Durand underwent last month and uh, was not able to relieve the discomfort he has had in that right foot, what is your takeaway? Well, the takeaway is that the fracture is not healed. And the thing that keeps fractures from healing is movement. But in order to get in shape, you have to move. And so they start off by keeping somebody on crutches, then they put him into a boot. If he continues to hurt, the fracture is not healing. They were hopeful that what made him hurt was the screw being prominent at the end of this bone. This Jones fracture is at the very outside of the foot, up near the top of that bone. And that bone has a kind of an iffy blood supply. So it's difficult for that bone to heal. The good news is, is that this is not a Yao Ming or a Grant Hill type situation where it's bones of the foot that continue to break. Once these heal, players generally do okay. We just have to wait for it to heal. Mark, why isn't it healing though? Is it such some players need more time, uh, especially since the people that are looking over Kevin Durant thought this was going to be taken care of by now. Well, the problem is, is that you put a big screw in the middle of the bone, and so it's difficult to image. So you can't tell with 100% certainty, looking at the x-rays or the CT scans or an MRI, that the bone is definitely healed. So what you rely on more is the player's symptoms. And so if the player says, hey, I'm not hurting at all, you advance their workout regimen until they're back on the court. And then once they're back on the court, you get them up to game speed, and then you put them back in the game. Now, if he begins to hurt at any one point, then you back him off. And what's happened here is he just is not becoming symptom-free. And so what you have to assume now that they know that the screw is not the problem is that the bone is not healed. And so the question is, is he going to require another surgical procedure to either put in a bigger screw or a plate and bone graft this fracture? Or do they just back him off for the rest of the year, let this thing heal completely, and then allow him to play next season? In your professional opinion, what would you recommend to Kevin Durant? I'd shut it down. I'd shut it down. I mean, I, I think that knowing that we've been, you know, pushing him forward to get him back in the game and then, and then he has more pain and then he comes out and then he has a second procedure and now he continues to hurt. I, I just don't think that six weeks are necessarily going to do it. Um, I, I think that what you have to do is shut it down, let it heal completely, take it very conservatively, and I think the chances are very good that he avoids another surgery.